WVOA 23 Sarah Macaluso joins us live with more on hope and help for Holt. Sarah. Lynn, community leaders tell me Holt will never look or be the same. It will only be better. In Hope Baptist Church, we found that about 45% of our membership either lost a home or their home was damaged to an extent that they had to move out for a period of time. Rick Mitchell had only been the pastor of Holt Baptist Church for five months when the April 27th tornado hit. When I got to the barricades and realized I couldn't get in, I said, no, this is, this is not good. Residents and community leaders began the rebuilding process just days after the storm. It was pretty confusing to people. They, they were very scared, uh, didn't know where to go, what to do, and so on. And, uh, and so uh, the officials got out of here, but they couldn't answer all the needs quickly. And uh, it was just it was just mass uh, hysteria, really. It's like something a giant mowing machine went through and just uh, tore everything up, heaped all this rubble together, and then almost miraculously left some homes untouched. Tuscaloosa County Commissioner Jerry Tingle says the Holt community has made great progress since 2011 and they don't have any plans on slowing down. Once the new Holt High School is built, uh, then you're going to see a total reformation of this community, a revitalization of this community. Uh, we got the infrastructure in place now, but it takes building the school, it takes the, then the people will want to move back. A lot of them's already moving back, but there'll be other people wanting to come here. A rebuilding process that keeps residents optimistic. Has everything happened in Holt that could have happened? Certainly not, you know, but that's true any place. All right, but have a lot of things happened that otherwise would not have happened? Absolutely. When I look back and realize all that has happened, I've got to say that, that there have been a lot of positive benefits that came out of this storm.